I see so many opportunities and potential in Northern BC. Everybody has a different lens of which they look at this, and everybody brings something different to the table. So it's really about bringing the connections of people together and look at what are the possibilities in our area. We have always been a part of the land, and to remain a part of that land, we need to look at technology and how it's going to benefit us and our future. For over three generations, this area has done a good job of producing hay, cattle, and grain. But really looking at what the global markets in the future are will make the difference between the next generation actually joining. We have a lot of land in the Chaco Valley that's not in production. And so the question is, is there crops that would make it economically viable to put that land back into production? All of this land used to be farmed over the years and, and again, as people started to move into the forest industry, into mining, they let go of their contact with the land. And it was really tough to get back to that. We need the opportunities to get back to that. And technology brings us into that component. Technology is a way for us to ensure that our future remains relevant. So the feasibility study was about getting a starting point to get contextually driven agricultural research throughout the region to find out what new crops could not only grow here but thrive and have a strong market to support them. Like most projects, it was a collection of conversations uh, between communities, First Nations communities, researchers here at the university, and it's that sort of collection of different lenses, different ways of thinking that's going to create something really special here. Our region has grown from agriculture's stability, so what we see as a benefit to the region is if that lands in production, we know it will bring people and jobs to our area. It allows for diversity, it allows for different industries to be able to be utilized, it allows for food security. The research goes beyond Northern BC, it's British Columbia, it's Canada, it's international. I'm fourth generation born and raised in the north and my great grandparents were farmers. Food security affects all of us. If we eat, we need to be are associated to agriculture. So I think it's important for youth to get excited about agriculture in BC and this research project is just one of the ways that we can do that.